Okay, where are we and what we doing? Well, Daisy, rock, paper, zombie server. I got shot. Oh yeah, we're back to basics again. Uh, played for about an hour, so I'm... Well, I have a pistol, I have a hatchet, managed to do some hunting, I uh, have a few medical supplies, uh, boom, 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 what else we got? Tell you what I don't have is in the medical supply list is I have some blood, but I don't have any um, morphine. And I'm just outside Cherno at the moment. So I think, as I don't have anything, I can nip back into Cherno and um, try and pick up some morphine. Let's do this hospital. So if I put a tag down on the hospital... Yikes, it's two clicks away. Got some running to do. So I need to carry some morphine. Need a primary weapon, so that's why I'm going to the uh, Eastern Hospital, because there's a military spawn in there. And here we go for a run. I'm not far from the south coast. Ooh, don't have a compass. Just trying to hit the compass button. No compass. God, it's terrible murder not having um, much in the way of kit. Um, quite precisely where I am? Not sure. But I can run to where I want to go. I, I did a little run on Electro. Picked up a few bits and bobs. So uh, here we go. Let's see what happens. Solo player attempting to rebuild my kit. Um, the, the way I got shot was... Star oh, looks like it's the big cliff hill. Yeah, uh, I went into Star yesterday. Um, there was some player activity in the area, but the way zombies spawn now so far away, it was trick tricky to figure out why the zombies were there. So I got shot by a, a bandit. Fortunately, one of the other players who was there at the time killed the bandit fairly quickly. And, um, yeah, so I was avenged almost immediately. We are... Ooh, lovely view distance. Look at that view distance. I do like this server for that. Nice big long view distance. This is similar to the way um, I would I would have it if I was um, playing armour. It's one of the things I like about this server is the long view distance. It's one of the most impressive features of armour. Look, we have a quad bike without a wheel. So, what's it got in it? Oh, it's got a wheel. It's got some camo clothing. Would have got some camo clothing. I, I was going to. Is that it? Hang on. I think I got myself a quad bike. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Get him his driver. Yeah. One wheel down. Right. Let's play infantry Tetris because wheels are huge. Wheels, I think, are six slots. So. Hang on, actually I need to get on as a driver. Back seat. Gear. Let's move some stuff from my kit to the quad bike so I can get the wheel on. Can't remember how much a quad bike holds. But look at that. Looks like we're gonna have some fun with quad bikes. Oh, don't tell me. Of course, haha, <laughs> I don't have a toolbox, so I can't repair it. Oh, how annoying is that? That's annoying. It's there, it's, it's all repaired, it's ready to go, and I can't use it because I don't have a toolbox. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? <coughs> it's not my favourite form of transport. Uh, it's quite noisy and it's as bugged to hell and back. You can't um, easily. Well, no, it's not that. It's it. When you go over certain objects within the world, they can they can flip. But apparently, I did remember reading somewhere that you do have a sort of like you can flip them back now. I think that's an option when you look at them when they flip over because there was always an issue uh, with quad bike or a motorcycle in fact uh, occasionally cars when you go over a bridge it 
sort of bugs you out and and the the bike sort of flips into the air for no apparent reason there is uh sorry that's what happens to quad bikes on motorcycles uh, and occasionally bicycles for no apparent reason they can spit you off the back break your legs and kill you for like no reason at all it's a it's a long-term bug within armor i can remember it in armor one um it certainly still exists in armor two and i believe it still exists now um around two three months ago Gado was riding a bicycle and the game just the bicycle just spat him off fell over on its side broke his leg and killed him so it's it's a long-term bug doesn't happen as much as it used to <laughs> used to happen quite a lot but um, yeah oh well if I can find a toolbox quickly it's going to be worth going back to pick that up but if not well anyway catch up with you in a minute so we're back. I'm going to do a little run on this agricultural. See if I can find some bits and bobs that I'm going to need. See if I can time this right. Yay. Still remember. Gonna have to go first person. Quick little shit. Maybe not. Doesn't seem to be quite as much loose around as there, there used to be, you know? What loose there is 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 not as good. Haha, <coughs> -ha. now. That's probably my favourite survivor weapon, but it's no use without um ammunition. So see if see if we can find some ammo for it. Shotgun. No. Still better off with a hatchet. Another hatchet, another hatchet. Oh, you're sweet. But am I actually probably better off with a hatchet? Because it's only got like five rounds. Hmm. How much space do I have in my backpack? Drop the camo clothing. Twelve. Can I pick up one of those weapons? Should really, shouldn't I? At the very least, I should pick up the um, the Winchester. But let's see if that barn had anything more interesting upstairs. Because if it's got some ammo upstairs, it's going to be to help me make the decision about which weapon I pick up. See if I can sneak in here. No one's tagged on behind me though. Did I check? I can't remember if I checked both sides. So anyway, let's go up here, see if they're going to find any ammo. Or even a better weapon because... Ha! <laughs> now there we go. Thank you very much. A Winchester with ammunition. So, let's put the hatchet away first. Uh, tool belt. Take Winchester. Thank you, Winchester. Oh, didn't have enough room for all of that ammo. Uh, well, let's eat some meat. Because I need to try and replenish my blood, and you can no longer just spam the, the blood replacement. You've got to... Um, you've got to leave a certain amount of time between. And I'm not sure how much time. Anything over there? Still no toolbox, but then again, this is agricultural, not industrial. So, do you feel more confident with a uh, with a Winchester? Okay, so I think we've answered the question there. We're going to nip along here to the industrial, see if we can find that toolbox we were after. Yeah, I thought he was going to go. So yes, we're after that toolbox, because um, once we have the toolbox we can go back and get, get that quad bike. But then, with the quad bike, that changes everything really. You don't want to be going into Cherno with a quad bike. It'll make far too much noise, and it's far too valuable as well. So let's 
run into this industrial, see if we'll find a toolbox. Then we'll go back for the quad bike, but if we can't find a toolbox, then yeah, God, look at that. Uh, four of them back there. It's annoying because what happens is you want to use a build, you want to go into a building to find to loot, but you end up having to use the building just to get rid of the Zeds. And there's a toolbox, and there's the toolbox. So take toolbox. Guess what we're doing? We're going to be playing with a quad bike. We have the primary weapon. Yeah. Back up there. Take a little while to get there, make sure I'm not being followed by Zeds. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, here we are. We've got the quad bike. So... Gear. We need to make space. Um, need to drink. So we might as well do that. Uh, um, don't want to drop my tin cans into the ca into the vehicle. Well, not that one anyway. So space, space, backpack. How many slots do I have free? Hang on. I'm still in the vehicle. Hold on. Let's come away. Backpack backpack. I have three pouches free, so we'll move the water can over. And why am I carrying a tin can? So I can boil my water. Although, I just have to eat that to get... Mm, so maybe I don't need to... Mm, not thinking clearly, am I? So, we want to move over one of the cans of food. And let's just... There's one free space. Let's move over the blood. And then we can drop the can on the floor. Infantry Tetris. Never great, so we'll move one of the meats over. Repair, right back wheel. Thank you. I do like this mechanic where you need one thing before you can do something else. Um, oops. You're bouncing about a bit. Now, what's actually in there that I would prefer to carry on myself? The meat, yes. Bom, bom. Empty soda can, I can drop that. What have I got that I want to put in it? This other more camo clothing. I'm not a great not greatly into camo clothing. I wanna move that and that. Close bag, because I wanna move that and that. What else was there? And a water bottle. Don't need this food in my backpack in my front pouch, not from carrying meat. It's all infantry Tetris, it's all... But again, it's part of the game, isn't it? I'll we'll drop that can. So, here we go. So, the quad bike, as you can see, changes everything. Where we're going to do and what we're going to do. We're sure as heck not going to go to Cherno. We need a hospital. But first, we're going to go over to Zelena. Supermarket, bigger backpack. Let's have a look at the roads between there, because I don't want to be off-roading it all the way. And it looks like if I am up here, I want to go down this side of the mountain because it's too steep, and then it's like that. Assuming. Big assumption. Ah, oh, now here's a thing. Riding a vehicle. Got to go third person for, for quad bikes, bicycles and motorcycles. Double tap ALT, which means I now have free lick, which means my mouse is no longer controlling my steering. This is going to be tricky. Because you don't want to hit anything. And they bobble about like crazy. So, yeah. Catch you in a bit. 
was alarming, alarming, not the right word, of concern, how quickly your fuel goes on this thing. All I've done is travelled from, what, top of that mountain between Electro and Cherno, down to Zelena, which grass was a few kilometres, and but my fuel's almost empty. I saw of the uh, oil can, didn't want to pick it up. So, I'm going to go park this up. It's not exactly going to be out of sight, but it'll do for the time being. I'm, as you may or may not be aware if you've watched my videos, I'm not big into um, using vehicles. I mean, this was useful. Fun, I suppose. But you sat there playing, hitting the W button. Doesn't really make a great deal of difference whether you're running or riding. There we go. Vehicles flashing on fuel. I need to find an oil can. Or an oil can, a jerry can. So we're at Zelena. Pretty good loot spot point. We've got industrial down there. Over there's agricultural. There's a sodding zombie. Uh, and in the town we've got um, a supermarket. So, leave it there. Oh, we're running around. Uh, I find rather an interesting find. Does it have wheels? Mm, not so much as he'd notice. Oh shit, where was he? Behind. Yeah. I've owned cars in that type of condition. A bit rusty. I want to look inside, so I want to get rid of these Zeds. I can do without keep on getting tapped. It's more than annoying. It's it's. I'm losing my blood steadily to Zeds because they're so much, so much more vicious than they used to be. You can still outsmart them, but God, you have to be so vigilant. Apparently Zeds can now attack you um, when you're in vehicles. There was a time where you just sat in the vehicle and you were completely fine. But now we'll break windows, they'll pull you off a motorcycle, quad bike or bicycle. That's not fun. So I'm not so interested in this as transport, I'm more interested in this as what someone might have left in it. So we'll get into it. Driver's seat, back seat gear, uh, a map, absolutely nothing. So if we get back to the driver's seat, it's not in too bad a condition. It is drivable. Sorry, so listen to me light up a fag. She's not in great shape, but she's in some kind of shape. I've definitely owned cars in that type of condition, though. <laughs> Fortunately, my car now is not in this, this type of condition, but yeah. So, where to? What to do? Well, we'll leave the quad bike for somebody else to find. They can have the problem of fitting it out. I think I got to Bergina. Corner. Is this the turning? No, not this one. This one. Or is it? No, it's this one. God. I can't remember where I'm going. So, not bad. Found another car in almost working condition. So, for a guy who doesn't like driving, I'm going to be doing quite a bit of driving today. And by the way, see, hang on, see, got the clan tag on the side. That's to do with your squad. So, have a look, Google it, Squad XML, now we're at the middle of nowhere, I'll show you. If you go to the P button and you find me, you see all this extra information? Yeah? Squad XML. does a few other things within armour that don't really appear in DayZ, but there you go. Anyway, we'll leave it there for a bit. Well, that's no fun. Crash my car, knock the wheel out. Bugger. See if I can find the wheel. If I can't quickly, then it's on foot. Mm. 
praying for a wheel. No wheel. I'm gonna be a wheel in here, is a jerry can. Mm, another jerry can. No, I think we're on foot now. Let's get away from any potential Zeds, put a marker down on the map. And start tabbing. It's hay, it's how I normally get around. Right, quick check on the map. Yeah, I wrote down on the map where the quad was. <coughs> dee 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 dee. Where are we? Bergino. Hello, Bergino. Hospital. Oops. You're refreshing, you're refreshing aren't you? Yeah. Hang on. If I go like that, six, 7.63 metres. Sorry, 7.63 whatever kilometres at 7,000 metres. Long run time. Oh well. Vehicles. More trouble than they're worth for me. Great. If uh, if you're in a group. Don't see the point of them when you're on foot. Oh well. Had to put a roll of dope in. Talk to you in a bit. So we are just south of Starry, <laughs> where I was killed. Could be worth another look, isn't that, eh? Not as if I'll lose much. So here goes. Do a little run on Starry. So long way out, overlooking the tents. I don't see any Z activity. The way the spawn, the Z spawn in these days. It, even if you're up on Sniper Hill, hang on, there's the church, hang on, there's the church. Up on Sniper Hill, you'll get zombies now down in the town. This is why you've got to be a little further out when you check. Um, so if there are no Zeds. I think we're going to be safe to get in. Usually a good thing. While with this end of town, I suppose I better do the supermarket. I'm still after a larger backpack. But obviously, snipers could be up there. They could be over there. The good ones are going to be over there. Occasionally you get them on hit this hill too, but it's unlikely. So, Sniper Hill. The wreck site there. The rusty car common sniping spots. Pretty much everybody knows those now. So the really good snipers are going to be over there. A long way out. And basically if they can shoot me from that distance they can have me. I decided a little while ago that I should be a little more... Um, I don't know, I, I was getting bored with the game and it was because I was being too cautious first person. So I'm willing to take a few more risks now and accept the fact that I'm going to die a few few more times. You know, that's why I went into Starry yesterday, got myself shot. Didn't learn from my own experience. Oh, priest zombies. Is that what it is? I don't like priest zombies. We've all got our little foibles. Food, don't need them. Hang on, I'm just going to get through the door. Check backpack like the one I've got. Backpack would be really nice right now. My blood's still not low, but it's, it still could be better, you know. Still need a compass. A watch. Another box of matches. So it doesn't look like I'm going to find what I want in here. So let's uh, work on the assumption that haste might be a better idea.
I'm looking for the backpack first because basically if I'm going to be going into um, into the tents I can't pick much up primary weapon, mil military spec primary weapon would be a good idea now what are you? Whenever you want a map, you can never find a map. <coughs> I can hear the Zeds behind me, but as long as they're behind me, I'm sort of okay. I'm going to do a run in on the cow shed. That way, hopefully, I can. Um, get rid of some of this. I suppose it's worth going into this post office. Helps if I can't do a roll of dope over a fence that big. Unfolding in the chat is a um, an ongoing little scenario where somebody's trying to help somebody else. Yeah, do. Do that. Chat on the side. But the guy is fading in and out of consciousness. So, let's nip down here, do a run through on the cow shed and then go play sneaky. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, oh my god. That's the oh my god. No dear. It looks like it was my. I was going to do my best to uh, Admiral Akbar impersonation. It's a trap. So here we go. I hate fences. Backpack! Yay, a backpack! Right. Hang on. Open. Open. Don't need the tin can in there. How do I end up? I always end up with bloody tin cans in my backpack and I don't need them in there. So, that one's full. Hang on. Let me take it. Yay! Backpack! Got me Alice pack. It's been a long time since I've had one of those big military ones. Last time I had one, so I took it off Pip's dead body, I think. What are you? Are you nice? Oh yes, you're nice. Do you have ammunition? Please have ammunition. Yes, you do. So, we're going mill spec. The other thing that it does, of course, is it allows you to free up. Hang on, open bag. Yeah. Well, assuming I don't get killed, this was worth coming to. There's always the chance that you're gonna you're gonna do this and you're gonna get yourself shot. I did yesterday. I was over there, I think. Can I cope? I don't know. Quick. I can do without things like that. Anything in here? You could grief what we got. Two lots of oh, I would have loved those back when I was carrying one. My favourite weapon. How did he come out? No, he didn't. Basically, if there's a sniper up there, they're going to shoot me. There is little or nothing I can do about it here and now, is there? No vehicles that we can use, which is annoying. It's not too bad. Found two vehicles today, haven't we? We found a, a quad bike and a car. 
I run one out of fuel and I wrecked the other one. I'm not very good with vehicles, I'll be brutally honest. Where can I go? Isn't he in there? God, I think he's running around trying to catch up my bum. It used to be such a m much more um, reliable place to find gear before, and it's just not open. Is there anything by his feet? No. Do you know what? We're going to get out of Dodge. Back on the road. Quick check up over this hill, because this is one of the... Oh, it's still there! Now, isn't that strange? That was there... ...yesterday. That was the that police car was there yesterday. And no one's thought to I mean it's in a bad way. And there's nothing in it, but isn't it strange? So we're nipping over this hill because very often in the valley the other side is a uh, a helicopter crash. So we're gonna have a quick look up here. And uh, see if it's in this valley, because very often in this valley there's a helicopter crash. I must admit, it's not looking good so far, is it? There was a time when I used to go. Uh, there's nothing here. I used to go deer stand to deer stand. That's actually where I'd get most of my kit would be deer stands, but they'd nerf the deer stand so badly. There's, it's not. There's no point going to deer stands anymore. They're more an annoyance when you're running through the countryside and come across one because of the Z. Uh, very often they'll only have one Z in them now. But, yeah, th there's rubbish in deer stands. Absolute rubbish. I've spent... It's it's how I used to play the game when I'd been alive for, like, two weeks. Lots and lots of kit. I would just go deer stand to deer stand. I had the time. Had the patience. But, uh... No, deer stands have been nerfed. There's bugger all in them now. And they're about as much use as a chocolate chisel. A mere curiosity rather than worth looking at. So, yeah, some of the changes in the game I like, some of the changes I don't. And things like I can't build my blood back up with... Oops. Of grass. I can't. I can no longer build my blood up with, by eating an animal. I mean, if your blood is low and you're playing solo, finding an animal, killing it, gutting it, then doing the whole cooking up the animal business to buff your blood back up. Well, now you've got. A, I think it's an hour you've got to wait between um, between eating the blood for it actually. The, sorry, to, for eating the meat, for it actually to buff your blood up. They've also changed the amount of uh, steaks you find on each animal. You know, I'd like to see the butcher that can only get s six steaks out of a cow. Should be able to live on half a side of beef for a couple of months, but no. So, again, some of the changes I like, some of the changes I don't. It's forcing us to change the way we play the game. So anyway, let's leave it there, me r rambling on whilst I romp through the uh, countryside. Okay, come across a, a deer stand, old habits die hard, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna give it a look. I really don't think there's gonna be much up there. This one's of course is gonna prove me wrong, there's gonna be tons of stuff. Or it's gonna prove me, oh, there's not even a Z. How weird. Let's go first person for this. What have we got? Well, I can replace the bandage. AKM. How many room in a backpack? Yeah, I'll pick up the AKM round. And the extra bandage. I thought I picked up a bandage. Oh, you'll love this imagery control system. So, good thing, you know, hasn't got the, the regulation 3Zs that they used to have. But... <coughs> 
There was a time when you used to find weapons in these things. I've never found weapons. You occasionally find some ammunition, but... Uh, yes, stranger and stranger. Here we go. One of the things we've been looking for. Helicopter crash. <coughs> Notice how far out the zombies are spawning? That's nice, isn't it? Look at it from this distance. There's no grass, so we can see what's there. There appears to be less zombies at helicopter crashes than there used to be. Looks like there's a pistol back there. Hard to tell what's there. But try to have a look at things from distance, because you can see there's, here's there's grass. And it starts to thin out, starts to thin out, and then you're just down to like the texture surface where there's no grass always helps you out to have, to have a little look. Can't remember how long it's been since the last server restart, but um, no idea if someone's visited, visited it already. Get too many consonants in that sentence. Really like to get in without attracting any attention of these Zerds. Keeping a close eye on them. That one seems to be looking in my general... Oh, he's just turned... Ah, they're at the turn point. That's a little annoying, which means they're going to be coming back in on me when I'm actually at the helicopter. Hasn't turned yet. He's turned. Oh, shit. Here we go. I really did not want to get into combat with these guys, because I've only got two clips for this weapon, and it's blooming loud. So very, very loud. Did I lose him? Quick he's not sneaking up behind me. Okay, let's be a little more cautious. There they are, those two. Damn, he's not caught them onto me again. This may turn into a standoff. There was a time when these guys would have been carrying quite a lot of loot, and they don't seem to anymore. We're going to have to make them hide, because they're going to be covering up what's underneath them. Haha! Uh -huh. It's only SD, it's not as powerful, it doesn't have the penetration, but it does fit. We have nothing. My body. This is rather laborious, I know. Uh, that's not what I wanted to have happen, but anyway. MP5 mag. I suppose I better just pick up everything and then sort it out later. Of course you're never quite sure whether you're actually hiding the right one when there's a big pile like this. This is rather laborious, I haven't even killed this many. I can't believe I managed to do that whole thing without actually um, getting hit badly enough to bleed or even shake. So, what have we got? What have we got? Have I just hidden all those bodies for no damn good reason? Ah, look, 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 can you see it? Thank you. You'll do nicely. So let's 
just tin cans there now. Didn't really want to kill all of the Zeds because oh, we've got some medical supplies. Um, you can run into some difficulties with what happens is basically they start respawning in. Don't need any more of that. And the uh, the age-old problem with this game is the interface is green, and so is the grass. There we go. There's something there. Another morphine injector, I suppose. Better pick it up. Hey, open bag. Is that the same pile again? Yes, it is. Or oh, it's at least more medical. Um, hmm, a flare. They're quite a lot of fun at night, but. Um, not a great deal of use during the daytime. And as I don't have NV goggles, I don't tend to um, play at night. Now, what's those tin cans I saw from the other side? I think that's everything. And off we trot. Sorry to whoever fi else finds you. There's bugger all there now. So there's that SD ammunition I found. I can use it. So you can use SD ammunition um, in a non-SD weapon. But what makes it SD ammunition is it's subsonic. It's not as powerful. It doesn't have the hit, the takedown force. But you know, you're surrounded by Zeds. It doesn't really matter. <coughs> um, what you can't do is the other way around. If you have a silenced weapon, you can't use. Um, the hypersonic or the supersonic uh, ammunition in that and the primary difference I suppose is you shouldn't be using subsonic rounds over 300 meters ain't gonna work where so the silenced weapons you don't you don't engage targets over 300 meters but um, where of course with the normal one you're going for four or five hundred meters I mean you wouldn't want to use this weapon or attempt a targeted shot with this weapon as it doesn't have a sight. I love that. Anyone in Cherno? I want a t-shirt with that printed on. Either that or is anyone shooting in Cherno? Or who's shooting in Cherno? That would be a good one for a t-shirt. Anyone in Cherno on the back or who's shooting in Cherno? Or who's shooting in Cherno on the back? I think that would be great t-shirt design. So, uh, anyway, let's leave it there. Talk to you in a bit. And there's a thing, distance in the fog. Can you see it? Yay, we've got another helicopter crash. Feral distance off. Oh well, see you in a bit. So here we are, got a little closer. Now, a couple of things. Firstly, do you see right there? That's an ammo box. Yee, like that. The other thing I just noticed, just as I started recording, there's another one. Looks like the guys who run the server have gone back or managed to get back to having two helicopter crashes in this area. Now let's see if I can do this without spooking every sodding zombie here. Mm. Might be nice to get a slightly nicer weapon. L85, L85 would be good. Now actually, thinking about it, back up a little bit. The saw would be good. So should I really clear some space? Because I don't want to be playing infantry Tetris when there's a potential of Zeds all up my chuff. I do not want one of those. Open bag. Uh, AK and mag we can drop. MP5 mag we can drop. It's got six slots, so... Let's move those SD rounds over. Close my bag. Drop. Wait. Up. So I've got some room to pick some stuff up. Zeds are in. I'm 
going to have to be cautious, aren't I? Because I don't want to have another one of those standoff. Because do you notice the colours a little washed out on my screen? It's because my blood levels are relatively low, and because I'm playing solo, I can't get a blood transfusion. And because you can no longer slaughter an animal and just cook it and eat it all in one go, you can't buff your your um, you can't buff your blood levels back up in the way that you used to be able to. I've got to crawl in. Well, not crawl. I ain't crawling. Just like crawling, you can't stand up quickly enough. So where are my targets? There's one close there. Undisturbed. One over there going the other way. He's walking away as well. He's walking away. Fingers crossed we can do this. We want to get to that ammo box. An ammo box sitting on the floor is... No, it's a little ammo box. See? It'll be full of stuff. You can't pick up the whole thing, unfortunately. But you can. Oh, bugger. It's not my ammunition. That's annoying. That's really annoying. Because I'm not carrying a sniper rifle. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Antibiotics? Do I have antibiotics? Yeah, I'm carrying antibiotics. I don't need more. But antibiotics used to be that one of the rarest items to find and now because th the chances of you getting sick is much higher they've made them relatively easy to find there was a time when um, before the last big patch you would find G 30 something or others you know the um, German assault rifle you'd find British assault rifles <coughs> on these things and you know I like the British one, partly because, hey, being patri patriotic, I'm British, but also because, um, Gilly Sue, see? I know something about fucking Gilly Sue. Let's pick up Gallo a Gilly, Gilly Sue, because he likes Gilly Suits. I couldn't give a monkey's uncle about Gilly Suits. I always get to work on the pin opinion that someone sees you wearing a Gilly Suit, you're going to be dead. Is there something else? Mm. Sometimes you, if you bring up the scroll wheel, you're more likely to see the it change than you are the little gun symbol in the middle of the screen. So, how best to approach that one? On the wood side, I think. Talk to you in a bit. So here we are again, overviewing the... Uh, third helicopter crash site I've seen today. Not bad going. Bring up the binoculars. I don't have a sighted weapon. Ooh, I wish I could zoom in, but that, I think, an M16 of some type, possibly. And there's something else there. So there's at least two weapons, hopefully with ammunition. Just quick check. No Zeds down in town. Where are my Zeds? I've got one there, another one there, another one there, and one over there. So let's try and go out this way where there aren't any. One of the guys has just been killed in Cherno by a uh, bandit. No great surprise, he and his friends, or he and some other people, have just spent the last hour chatting to each other, telling, telling each other precisely where they are in Cherno. I don't think it should be any great surprise that they then get shot. So what are you? Mm, compact G36 doesn't have the sight, does it? Mm. Don't see that as an improvement. The other one was over here. And what are you? Ah. Now this has got a neat, decent sight on this one. G36K can't remember if it uses the same ammunition as I've got. NATO... NATO? Does that mean one could use the ammunition from the other? Let's have a quick look around on the back side. Let's see if there's anything around here. Ooh, nice grass-free area. No, 
something around here then. I think it's trying. Hmm. Mr. Monkey or something, you can piss off. I think it's time to swap to this one. Will it drop my M16 ammo? Let's find out. Hang on. Wait. Strange, doesn't say drop and pick up, so. Where does my shotgun stuff come from? I'm still carrying about the right? So I'm down to two clips. Now two clips with a better weapon. So you have a zoom scope and then a red dot. Or more ammunition. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with the more ammunition business. Although I do like the <laughs> I wish these people would get off side chats about the fourth or fifth time he's done that now. So, let's get out of here. So, let's have a little wrap up of what we've managed to get done. Just seems a cow spawn in. Very weird. Anyway, have a little look at the map. We started off. Um, I think here I'd the day before I got killed respawned, went through Electro and I spawned out here we found that quad bike at the top of the hill we went down in here found um, the necessaries to repair the quad bike and then head off uh, this way then this way to Zelena. Dumped the quad bike because the damn thing ran out of fuel. He got through three quarters of a tank of fuel just going that far. Not great. On our way through Zelena, we came across a car, which we managed to get in its rather poor state all the way to Rogovo before I crashed it into something. And then I did a trip into Starry Tents and survived, found the police car that was there yesterday, which no one seems to have picked up on, and then up and around here, had a little, little deer stand around here I think it was, and found a couple of helicopter crashes. There was one over here somewhere, one here and one here, and I'm currently just about there. I was going to go into Bergino, but hey, I'm pretty well kitted now from dying yesterday to having a nice primary weapon. Not the best, but a pretty nice primary weapon. Nice big backpack. I've got a pistol. I have survival gear. You know, I could do with a compass. Compass would be nice. But I have medical supplies to keep myself and anyone else I'm with alive. I have some antibiotics. I'm carrying some blood. And I'm like half a click away from the hospital so I can always get more blood. I'm carrying some morphine. Um, so yeah, not a bad little not a bad little gameplay through. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, hit the subscribe and like and stuff if you would please. It always helps. Try If you ask any direct questions I do my best to answer them. And again Thank you very much for uh, giving me your time watching my gameplay. Talk to you again later. Bye-bye.